The markings suggest this is a hive god, but I don't recognize the symbol. Nothing in the world's grave file either. The name is Nocris. Hey, what's good everybody? Thanks for checking out this video. Before I get into this, I want to let you all know about my new console giveaway that I'm doing. This is basically like an early Christmas present or whatever you celebrate. The winner will get to choose from a Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, or a PS4. And this will end before December. If you want to participate in this giveaway to have a chance at winning one of these, all you have to do is simply leave a like on the video, subscribe and click that bell if you haven't, and comment your thoughts about what I go over in this video and what console you'll end up wanting at the end of your comment. By the way, the videos that you are seeing here currently are my previous winners unboxing the consoles that they won from me in the past. I had asked if they could record their reactions of them unboxing what they won just so I could give you guys proof that my giveaways are legitimate. Now since that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get into this. In this video, I have a lot of interesting info about Eris that I think you guys might end up enjoying. First off, to get into where Eris is located at, let's start off with the secret Nocris scannable that can be found on the mission Regicide. This mission was in Destiny 1, and it was located on the Dreadnought. And the scannable will be located right here next to Crota, and Oryx is centered in the back. So this makes it pretty obvious that Nocris is in somehow relation with Oryx's family. I'm not exactly sure how though, but let's check out these scannables here. There are no markings that suggest a carving tool. They were assembled and crafted through some kind of hive spell. I think this one represents Crota. The marking suggests this is a hive god, but I don't recognize the symbol. Nothing in the world's grave file either. The name is Nocris. It's Oryx. These statues, everything here was created before Earth was formed. I wonder how many worlds Oryx has taken. I have to say this is pretty interesting. I made a video about this in the past before Destiny 2 was even released thinking that this was going to be some kind of new Taken Hive God within Destiny 2. And so far we have yet to encounter Nocris. It's important to note though that Nocris is pretty unknown on who he or she is still. However there is some new hidden lore on Nocris in Destiny 2 of where Eris went and what happened to her possibly. Before the whole chaotic event took place, she had spoke to Asher about Nocris and if he could dig up anything about it. So it seems Eris is on the hunts for this creature and I'm not exactly sure why. I think it could be because of the whispers she hears in her head. But I'll get more into that here in a minute. First I want to show you guys where you can find this new hidden lore in Destiny 2. If you go to Io and then level up your reputation to get the Io engram that you receive from Asher, you can preview this engram to see everything that you can possibly get. Within this preview, you want to preview the class item and pull up the lore tab of this class item. You will notice you get a reply from Asher to Eris. So this is how I know Eris was curious about Nocris. And here is Asher's reply. I'll go ahead and read this out loud. It is extremely interesting. Eris, I have scoured my library but found nothing on this Nocris of which you speak. I am sorry both for the delay and that I could not be of more help. Here's where it gets really interesting. Do you ever feel any affection for the creatures that changed you? I confess this weakness myself. In the shadow of the Paramidian, I have sometimes felt a kind of craven admiration for the elementable superior beings that suffuse my body. I can feel them move through my veins with purpose magnetized to the intent of the minds that have come to machinoform Echomessa. I have a sense of their desires. They have changed since I fell. And so I am, if nothing else, a new variable in whatever grand equation compels them. My arm grows worse. This morning I cut my finger and bled radiolaria, which is, you know, vex blood, basically. I will redouble my efforts. Truth in action. Asher. So there we learn that he is becoming more and more of what he is a part of. I mean, he's literally even starting to bleed like the Vex. Now, I wanted to get into a little bit of this cutscene at the end of the Regicide mission where we ended up encountering Nocris for the first time. Well, at least a scannable for Nocris. Anyways, check out this cutscene real quick and I'm going to talk a little bit about this afterwards. My queen, you were right. 
Guardian was the key. For the first time, the whispers are silent. It is done. accepted my fate. I will not fail. As you guys just heard in here, she mentions my queen. Now she could just be talking about the Awoken Queen, which probably could be the case, but she could also be talking about Savathun which is Oryx's sister, and apparently has taken Oryx's crown. We learn this from the adventure on IO called Unexpected Guest. Check out this dialogue that we get once we end up completing it. Hey team, the screaming thing from the abyss is dead. That creature was the servant of some higher power. I fear something has claimed Oryx's crown. Yes, yes, let's move on. Your intuitions were correct, mine were not, and the Guardian's prowess in battle was... adequate. The reason how I know that they're talking about Savathun taking over Oryx's crown is because this enemy that you take out here for one has Savathun in its name, and as you guys just heard in that dialogue that this was a servant from a higher power that has seemed to taken Oryx's crown. So it's pretty clear right there. I don't doubt whatsoever we're going to be fighting Savathun in a future maybe Taken Raid or something, as well as Nocturus, of course. Because I believe Eris went to go hunt down Nocturus to try to take care of the whispers in her head, basically, or something. And like I mentioned in the very beginning of this video on how I was going to say where Eris is located at, in case you haven't got the point, of course she is going to be located at the Dreadnought. She was on a hunt for Nocturus before this whole chaotic event happened. And as we know now, Nocturus is scannable is on the Dreadnought. So more than likely, Nocturus is of course going to be located at the Dreadnought, and we also know that something has taken Oryx's crown there as well. So I'm pretty sure Eris is involved in that whole situation over there, and she's probably going to be our future vendor at the Dreadnought. However, when we first go there, I think we're going to end up having to heal her, and Asher Mir will have the solution for this. The reason why I assume this is because in the Curse of Osiris DLC, we're supposed to go back through space and time to prevent a dark future from happening. So I think we're going to end up going back through space and time and healing Aerith so she doesn't end up being taken over by the Hive. If Asher is already bleeding like the Vex, I don't doubt whatsoever that Aerith has been bleeding like the Hive and probably has officially been taken over. Maybe that's the reason why she rushed off. I mean, as you guys just heard in that previous cutscene I just showed you at the end of the Regicide mission, she knows her fate, which I believe she was talking about that she has to take out Oryx's family in order to stop the whispers in her head. Because she did mention in that cutscene as well that the whispers stopped once we took out Oryx. You know, the first form of Oryx, that is. So in the end, what I know for pretty much 100% fact is that we will be encountering Eris over at the Dreadnought again. In case you guys don't know, there was audio files leaked that we will be returning to the Dreadnoughts in Destiny 2. If you guys haven't heard those, I'll go ahead and play these now. These were not in Destiny 1 whatsoever. Check these out. Back to Oryx's floating tomb then. The Dreadnought must be understood. And New Monarchy plans to be at the forefront of that understanding. That ship is as deadly as the hive who climbs its walls. Be wary of both. We cannot leave this system with the Dreadnought still looming. There is still much we don't know about Oryx's throne world. We've defeated Oryx, but the Dreadnought still lives. Do your part to fight it. So from this, we can understand that we will be returning to the Dreadnought. And of course, we know Eris went on a hunt for Nocturus, and we know that the first encounter that we have ever had about Nocturus was on the Dreadnoughts from that Scannable. So putting two and two together, Eris went to the Dreadnought to hunt for Nocturus, because of the whispers in her head, she wanted them to stop, and when she got to the Dreadnought, something terrible happened, and we're going to end up having to prevent that from happening. And then once we end up, you know, saving Eris or whatever we have to do for her there, she'll end up becoming our vendor and our guide pretty much at the Dreadnought to take out these higher powers. I mean, honestly, who else would fit the role of being the vendor on the Dreadnought? First thing that comes to my mind is Eris. 
and all of this makes complete sense. But yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this video. I mean, I could go on and on about this topic, but I feel like this is good enough information to prove to you guys that we will be encountering Eris Morn on the Dreadnought. If you guys know of another location that we'll be encountering or at, feel free to leave your thoughts down below in the description. After all, this is just a bunch of information that took me forever to compile together and to come to an assumption that we will be encountering Eris at the Dreadnought. I mean, honestly, I don't understand where else she would go. After all, she was hunting for Nocris. But yeah, if you found this enjoyable, it would be greatly appreciated if you could take a little bit of your time to leave a like. Like I just mentioned, I took a while compiling this information together. So, you know, a simple like is definitely appreciated. I'm out of here, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. And remember to stay safe out there and try to avoid sleeping in pee. It can get pretty nasty, I'm telling you. Peace.